guys, it's Lisa here. Um, we're continuing on our our um, the videos that we've been doing on using up our business envelopes. So today I went and I tea dyed some of these today. Just spray dyed them and I just wanted to show you what they would look like to have them spray dyed. But unfortunately we're going to be using a um, envelope that is not dyed because we're going to be making this. This is a, a belly band. I'll show you how, how it goes on. Where's my book? Here's one of my books that I'm just personally working on. Um, so what you would do with this belly band is put it in and you would attach it here and here, glue it down, and then you can, you know, put something through here, you know, put your paper through here, whatever, as your little belly band. But not only is it a belly band, it's also a book, um, it's a tag holder. So, the inside looks like the outside, and this just fits in there nicely. I cut this out of a paper pack that I got. Through, um, I'm thinking it's called Ephemera Garden Ephemera Collage Sheets that I took this from, and this just fits right in here, like this. And I'm gonna put a little tag on the top of it, a little um, piece of mm, ribbon or something on the top of it. So there's that. So, and then I took a paper heart doily and I put some. Um, place down here and I put some buttons on it so that's what we're gonna do with one of these so and I will show you how what this is made of this is actually made um, out of a um, uh, what's that paper um, tissue paper tissue paper it's a tissue paper envelope okay let's get started let's clear this up put that there okay well, these are some envelopes I got today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use one of them. I'm going to use this one here. Put this over here. And I'm going to figure out what size I want this to be. And I just kind of folded it over. About like that. You know, it's about the size of this. A little bit smaller. And then I folded this part up like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut some of this off just so it's about um, <clears throat> uh, between a fourth of an inch and a half an inch past where this fold is. And then this is going to fold up, so I want to trim this the same, about a fourth of an inch or an inch beyond the the bend or the where it's folded. And then I'm going to come in, and I'm going to clip the corners, that. And as you can see, it folds back, and they both fold back. This folds, and then this folds, and this I should have done after. <laughs> so I'm going to um, trim a little bit of this part, this little triangle off right here. Okay, all right, and so actually. I'm confused here, but okay, like this, because right, you want that to fold up. Okay, and then we're going to trim the top open. Just a little thin little snip right there. Okay. So now I'm going to take this, open this up, and I'm going to take my um, 
paper here. My, uh, oh, um, this paper here, whatever this is. Oh, I'm going to cut a piece off of it. Tissue paper. I'm going to cut up a piece off just to cover the envelope. And I know that some of this isn't going to show, like on the back side of the envelope. But it's easier to just kind of cover a bigger area. Okay, we're going to use this. So, I'm going to put this over the top of here. And I know, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to just draw a line tracing around the opening where the envelope is, where the window is uh, showing. I'm going to just... Now, I know that you guys probably have easier ways to do this, but I'm just going to use my scissors for this. And I'm going to cut this part out that I drew around with my pencil. And, um, so yeah, this is probably the most tedious part of the whole, the whole, um, project is, is cutting this out. And I don't know if it would work the same way with if you're using napkins because you could use you could dip your paintbrush in water and just um, wet the edges and that tears it away easier. And I never really tried it with this, but that would be an idea to try. It's a very good time. Okay. That. And then I'm going to take it on here, and I, it's going to be right where that is, that opening is. You want to put this over the top of it. Okay, and then what I did is I hold one, one side down, and I get my glue stick. And I hold it one side down where it's going to be at. Okay, so look at that. And then I'm going to pull this part up gently. And just glue the edges real quick just to just to hold it down so that it's easier to um, then you just gently just push it down like that. And I'm gonna do the other side as well, the other corners as well. Because the main thing that, we, uh, that I really want to do is to make sure that that window is going to be, you know, it's going to be nice and smooth around where that window is. And then now I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest down. Just all of the parts, all the white parts of the envelope. I'm just glue it down with the sticks on there. Okay. side. I don't want to get all gloopy on there and all right that town. Okay and then the inside we're going to fold it in. Okay. So then I'm gonna fold this in. I'm gonna fold this in. Actually I'm gonna do the corners first and I'm just gonna pull it in. Like that. Each end. And you know actually what you could have done is is just cut it out after you had it on. That's what I probably should have done. So we're going to go ahead and glue the corners to hold this down. Okay, put that down. And then we're going to 
kind of like wrapping a present. And then I'm going to fold the sides in. Okay, like that. And this side. And that's going to cover some of the window here, so I'm going to trim it a little bit. doing today? You guys having a great day? I had a pretty good day at work today. Yeah, that's pretty good. Put that down. And then this, I'll cut a little bit here and fold each of these sides down. And I think it would have been made, it would have made it easier if I would have went ahead and um, did not cut this out and just cut out the notches after it was glued on. I think that's lesson learned. That's what we do. We learn these things. Let's see. That. I'm not sure what to do. You know what I really should do is just really just cut this part off right here. So it's not really going to matter. Because this is going to come down and cover it. Flip it up anyway and cover the back. Okay, so now in here we want to put another piece of the blue here so that when, when we shut it, oh, I got glue everywhere. <laughs> uh, we're going to see the, this blue on the inside. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know how you know how I am. I'm always eyeballing everything. <laughs> And then we're measuring nothing that I need to. I need to, to do a better job of that. Because I know that some of you guys that do measure appreciate that. Okay, so that's not even going to show. So the bottom part that I didn't do isn't even going to show. So there's that. How does that look? Looks pretty good. Okay. And now I'm going to put some de-stressing ink on it. part I want to really try to get in here and make it dark yeah that looks good that's really it was really bright a really bright blue but that one kind of distresses it makes it look I like it it looks way better Yeah, I like it. Looks good. This side. Okay, and look at how bright it is on the inside. <laughs> All right, let's make it darker on the inside too. So when you look look through it. Sure makes a difference. Okay, just like that. All right. Now I got some some papers over here that I wanted to see 
These are from, I, I was telling you earlier, from the Garden Ephemera collage paper. And I'm going to just try to just put some of this in to try to match up what matches with the blue. You know. And uh, these are some really pretty papers here. Different things. But I opened it up. And I just kind of go around with it. I'm trying to find something that would look, look nice in this window. That looks nice too. That. If I can't find... That would look nice right there. I think that would do it. That would be really good. Okay. Because it's got that blue flower. But I'll, I'll, let's, let's check some more. Because I've, there's some really pretty paper here. Alright. Oh, I love that. I really like the butterflies. I think they're really pretty. I like that right there. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil and I'm going to just just draw a line Oops. on here, at least on here, to get it started. And I'm going to bring it in a little bit. See how it's gonna look in here. Yeah, look at that. Looks really good. Okay, this is gonna fit in there. Do you want to be able to get it out? Yeah, I'm gonna cut a little more on the edge just to be safe. Okay. Then, gonna see. Make sure that it's gonna. That edge is going to be glued and it's still going to fit in really good. Okay, I got this bottom part off right here. Okay, yeah, it looks, looks pretty. I like it. Looks really pretty. Okay, I'm going to bring it up to the top. Okay. Oh. And let's see, to keep this from moving down, because we want it to stop right here. And we don't want it to go further down here. So what we're going to do is, let's see, we are going to use my stapler and put a couple staples. Well, I guess that wouldn't work. Um, okay, I have an idea. We're going to go ahead and use some of the paper that's here. I'm going to measure about that much fold it over and I'm going to put it right on the end of this with a bookmarker where uh, I mean where I want this to stop at okay and I'm going to go ahead and put glue here glue this down get out my PVA glue quick and I'm going to put it right on here Oh boy. <laughs> Let me see something. If this matters. Okay. I'm going to take. Oh boy. I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier. I think it's it's showing too much in the window. Okay, I'm gonna just cut that a little bit smaller. Get right on there. Okay, and the glue is still on there. spot where I was at. Okay. I'm going to just leave that there. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take and put some glue on here. And then I am going to go ahead and glue the edges down. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down like that. And this is showing in the window a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm really fine with that. I want to put this in and make sure that that's going to fit in there. Got it. Too much glue on the edge of it. Okay. Okay, it fits in there pretty good. I'm going to cut a little bit more off the edge. some little cuts here. Where am I? Okay, I just want to make sure it's going to fit in there. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Yep, it fits right in there. And you can't even tell that that's there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put it, poke a hole in this. And the edges. going to set it right in there. Then I'm going to put my string on a little bit. And so it says fits right in that little groove right there. And then this part, we're going to glue this part, part up. Like, okay. Just like that. Alright, I'm going to let that glue there. Um, and where did my book, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you how you, how we're going to do this then, is that we'll put it in the book, in one of these books, and it's going to be like this, and then I'm going to glue, glue here and here down, and that's what that's going to look like, and now for, but for right now, I'm going to decorate this part, oh, you know what, it isn't going to matter. And this is what we did on this one. We put the heart on there, and I guess I was just thinking it's not even going to matter because it's going to, the heart's going to cover it. So I'll go ahead and get my hearts. Where's my hearts at? Put them. Okay. Oh, do right here. I got these um, at a thrift store a while back. These little tiny doilies are so cute. I got I got red, white, and I'm going to use a white one of these. Okay, and I'm gonna just set it right, right here. Oh, but before that, I'm gonna put some of this lace. I like, I like this lace. I want to put this on here, like that, like so. so. We want to cut it so that we can wrap it around. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, use my little glue. And just glue just this whole part right here. You know what? This, these business env envelopes are so cool. You you never would think. Right now, you would never think that this was just just a basic um, envelope, business envelope that's been transformed. You know, pretty cool. And then I'm gonna put these on the, around here and hold this together. Oh. Daddy clips. The other one on. Okay. Put a little bit more glue on us. It's not staying very good. Okay. 
Okay, there's that. Looking good. And we're going to put this heart on. Glue that down. And go ahead and glue that down. Let's put glue on this. Let's see. We want it to hang off a little bit on that edge, so we're gonna, just going to come in here and put the glue on here. Okay, my cat's up here. He decided to jump up here and uh, visit me. He's sitting in my chair. <laughs> All right, let's see. Put some more on here. Kind of go on the face a little bit there. Okay. All right. Alrighty, there we go. Let me see. Um, i bring it in a little bit more right here. Okay. And I get my buttons out. And we can put some buttons on it, too. Okay. And that's dry up. I'm going to take these out now. My distressing ink. Um, anyway, my lid. Here is my box, my goodies. And let's see, want something small. Put three buttons on here somehow. And I like that gray, it's pretty. Here's a blue. I don't know if I want to put blue on there. Some smaller buttons. Looks cute. You know, it's simple. It's pretty simple looking. Put these on. Looks pretty. Looks really, really pretty. Okay. Oh. See, I get glue on my finger and then I touch it and it lifts up. That makes me mad. Okay. Now this, I'm going to um, put on each one of these, I'm going to put some lace in the top of these for my um, uh, let's see. for my um, tie, my ribbon. On the top. I'm going to use this. I love this ribbon. It's shiny, it's sparkly, and it makes me happy. So I'm going to cut the shiny part off. So I love the shiny. I want the shiny out here. And I, I use a lot of this. I really like it. It's really pretty. I use it for um, book wraps and little ties. I just <laughs> use it for everything. I love it. And I got a whole bunch of it. Okay, let's go ahead and cut that off. And then I'm going to cut this in half because I want to put one on here and one on my other one. So then I'm going to just put it through here. And pull it through here. Like that. Oh, that looks good. 
Okay, looks really pretty. Okay, that's... I'm going to go in this one. Okay, like that. And this one's going to go on this one. There we go. What you think? Which one you like? Which one you like better? I think they're really pretty. They both came out really nice. I like them both. This is still wet. <laughs> so, okay guys. Well, anyway, I, I had a blast making these with you. And I hope that you guys give it a try and try making these for yourself out of your envelopes that you probably have a lot of. And I would it's just a very simple, easy technique, and it's a good way of using up your paper, you know, your tissue paper. So, okay, well, I will be back either tomorrow or the next day, or as soon as I can, and we will be going, we will be talking about another business envelope idea of how to decorate your envelopes and make, make um, tags and belly bands and whatever, you know. So, oh, what, what I want to say is that we're going to glue it down here and here to make a belly band. It's actually a belly band tag. And um, so then you would take your paper, you know, and you would leave, just glue here and here, and then you just would use it as a belly band. This is a belly band slash um, tag holder, I guess you would call it. But this is, this is the idea of the look that I'm going for with that. So, and you would glue it down and everything. So, okay, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy what you're watching today, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know if you enjoy me bringing you these shows. And um, help me, let me know if this was helpful. And also, if, um, if you sign up this month and subscribe, you get on my, my, um, my list of potential um, happy mail. You might be getting happy mail from me. So make sure that you um, um, give a comment, and I will see you later. Bye.